Hello, I am your host and director, Minister Angela Ivory of Destiny Helpers, and it is my pleasure and my honor to sit here on this panel today with my guest, Prophetess Sheila Hale, as well as my special guest, Dr. Janet Lamar. Welcome, ladies, to Destiny Helpers. Thank you. Thank you. Well, in order to be deemed a Destiny Helper, you have to help those in your community and beyond reach their destiny. And Dr. Lamar, yes. you have been deemed a Destiny Helper. Wow. Honor. Yes. Yes. And so we're going to dive right into this segment. And it may take you just a little bit of time, but I want you to talk about your process. How did you get to know that you would even have not just a network, but just your first talk show? Tell us a little bit about that. Go as far back as you like. Okay, okay. Well, let me just start here because I know for time, it would take me a long time. <laughs> um, but let me just start here. When I lost my first company, my first company, I went homeless. Um, and so um, the first company God gave me that, and it was because I used to help people homeless and do all kinds of things in outreach. And so I started from nothing, just giving away school supplies, you know, um, things for um, all the holidays. And eventually God put me in the building, and I became an executive director, and I serviced about 13 counties in the North Central Health District. So after about seven, six years, um, I lost it. So when I lost it, I could understand, I'm like, God, how can I lose, how could something that you gave me? Um, and of course it was, you know, different things happen. I won't, you know, talk in details, whatever. So after, you know, processing through being homeless, um, I didn't really know what to do. Uh, I, I really didn't, I didn't know what to do. I just knew that was, that's what I knew. And so I was always told years before I even had that, when I left off, I left secular world in 2003, I walked away from corporate America. And God says to do that, and I did it. And I was given a word and said, if you can walk by faith and have faith in God, you'll never work another day in your life. So that was then, 2003, I got that word. So as we, we fast forward, I lost the company. Didn't really know what else to do because you can't, you can't take a gift and take it inside of corporate America. They want you to have all these degrees. So at the time, I didn't have that. And so, um, you know, we slept on floors. We did all kind of stuff. So radio and TV was not in my radar. Never was prophesied about it. Never was told anything like some of you guys are. I'm, I was not. So I started um, doing a radio segment, which was uh, $40 per month. And I couldn't even pay that. Wow. So the company, the owner of the station, um, would just give me time. Sometimes be three months before I can pay that that first forty dollars. And so, the, uh, fast forward to 2015, um, I went to a conference, um, Bishop Jake's conference. Someone had paid for me to go, and they was talking about going global. So I went to that conference, and they gave uh, three ways you can go. They said you can send, you can partner, or you can um, go yourself. So I come back to Georgia, take those notes in. I said, God, I can't send because it's my, me and my son. How are we gonna, how are we gonna send somebody? We're having the money for our own self. I could not go because it was us. We didn't even have nowhere to live. And I said, I can't partner because I don't have no resource to give anybody to partner. I said, God, I'm doing this one radio show a month, which I cannot pay. I stood by the couch. I said, God, the only thing else left is TV. I said, that's what I want you to do. Wow. So here I am, I can't afford wow. $40 a month, but God yet telling me to do TV. Wow. So what I do, I go to the t local station here in Macon, Georgia, and I go talk to him, and I meet with him. And I talk to him about airtime and what have you. So you're talking about another almost 400 plus a month in addition to what I was already paying for that. So I got a group of leaders together, and I never asked them for money or whatever. I just depend on God. So I would sell books that I wrote while I was homeless. I wrote lots of books. And sometimes, you know, the, I, I didn't have the money, but, you know, they would allow me opportunity to pay. And so from that point, probably eight months into that, God said, now you're going to launch your own. So what we're sitting behind right now that says Queen Essence Connections, mm -hmm. that was the first one I launched. And then from that, God never stopped because I didn't even know not all this other <laughs> stuff. Never saw it. Wow. <laughs> so that's how we, that's what happened. That's how we got to where we are. So I heard a lot of being obedient. Right. Walking by you faith. my chair around by you. Come on here, swing. <laughs> and, right. right. Yes. And not by sight. Right. Um, and I know that's not easy. Right. Um, and I also understand that it's probably it probably was not easy to have that vision or whatever God gave you and no one else could see it. Right. Exactly. And what happened was um, God gave it to me in increments. And when you talk about faith, the whole journey was on faith. Um, 
uh, God, um, and as I stated before, I was interviewed prior to this interview, I stated I was at the water because I didn't understand God. We was getting put out again. I said, okay, God, what we gonna do? So I went to this water and I wept and I wept and I wept, but Jesus was on the other side of this river. And as I stood there, as I st stood there with my son, the Lord did this. He says, Lamar, you gotta get from over there, you gotta get over here. He said again, get from over there and get over here because if you do not move, you're going to die. Wow. So in other words, what he was saying, where you are and where you're going is gonna require faith. It's not by money. Mm. Right. So he said, if you do not come over here, you do not cross this water. He wanted me to walk where he was. He said I was gonna die. So you just had to go. That's it. Is it either sink or swim? Sink or swim. That's it. That's it. <laughs> amen. Amen. So let's just talk about Queen Esther Mega Networks. Okay. And this is where we're sitting at today. Okay. Okay. And I know that this uh, this TV show, the network, you all host or you host or you have guests. And are they different diversity? What type of talk shows have you been able to produce okay. by having Queen Esther Mega Networks? And what happened, it was, it was a name change. It was Queen Esther's Network. Mm -hmm. God told okay. me Queen Esther Mega Network okay. because of what it's getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. And the facility that we're sitting in now was not the original facility. The facility that we're sitting in now is a result of the one that's probably on the same block that's below us. But because I was like, God, how are we going to finish it? We couldn't finish it. We couldn't. We didn't raise any money or whatever. I would lay on the floor and I would talk to God and I would pray and I would fast. And so upon fasting, um, driving one day in this area, I thought I'm not the building with oil. I had this encounter with God that I saw this completed floor and I saw these doors. And so I was like, okay. So I'm thinking that that was the building that he was going to fix the one we was in. Make a long story short, when I was driving, I was like, when did the ministry move out of this building? This is the building we're sitting in now. Mm -hmm. Get out the car. I look, I peep in the glass and I scream from the top of my lungs. The, the, the people next door came out because they thought something was wrong. Nothing was wrong because they, what I saw in that dream, in my, I wasn't asleep, I had an open vision, that was what it was. The floor, the manolia, the color, the glass, everything. And of course I asked the people about it and they said, somebody else getting it, a light company. So I go back to the one that allowed me to see what I saw. I said, I know I didn't just see this and, <laughs> and they finna get this. So I waited about two more weeks and Lord says, my check keep turning around. That's the power of God keeps swinging me over here. And so, uh, <laughs> so I waited for about two more weeks. You see, I just urged me on. <laughs> Jesus. And so I waited for about two more weeks. God says, call him again. So I call him again. I'll make a long story short, we're sitting in what God said, call again. That's why we're sitting here. So the whole thing is this. God never, in 2017, God had me to remove myself from being a host. So I stopped hosting. He says, what I want you because I have clothes. I have this and that. And God says, I want you to now push the people. Right. And he says, um, you take care of my people and I'll take care of you. So I began to do that. So I stopped. Um, I got out of the whole seat and then I began to open the door for other people. The thing was, because this was the first of its kind in this area, nobody else had never hosted. I didn't have a template. So it was trial and error. Bumped my head many a times. Many a times. Many times quit. Threw in the towel. Just like God. You know, I need some help. What are people you know? Mm. So, wow. go ahead. You want to, you want to. <laughs> no, that was what I was going to ask you. How many people do you have helping you with this? But, you know, finish what you were saying because okay. it's not a pioneer. Okay. Uh, a he, catalyst. Well, now you just, you just <laughs> prophesied because when I came to the city in 2011, I did not choose to come to Macon. So I've, I've been on international platforms before, but God says, step down, leave all of them. I left all of them, major people I've, I've worked under and served. But what happened was God says, I'm gonna send you to Macon, Georgia, and I'm gonna use you as a catalyst. Mm. Did not know what that meant in 2011. Now I understand what it means now, but I did not know what that mean back then. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's not easy. Oh my It's not God. easy being, I know, it's not easy being a catalyst. Well, it, it's, <laughs> not, it's not even the catalyst, it's the, right. it's the fact, understanding who you are. Right. Correct. So you have two things you're dealing with. You, your, God is using you as a catalyst for an assignment, mm -hmm. but now you're working an assignment and you really don't even know what your calling was at the moment. Mm -hmm. So now you have all of this opposition two ways. Two ways because you're doing something that has never been done before. Exactly, right. you're mm -hmm. walking in something that God have not fully revealed to you yet who you are. Wow, oh. So now you're trying to figure out, God, you're saying do this, but everybody's saying, what's wrong with her? Where's she come from? Where's she right. doing this? So she now, doing? exactly. <laughs> so you're, you're hearing God, but you're, you're, you're operating twofold. You're operating an assignment, which goes with your calling, but you don't understand that's who you are anyway. 
So everybody wants you to be this and that and that and that because they really didn't understand you either. Or they wow. understood, but oh. they didn't want you knew they understood. Oh. Come on now. Oh, now. Let me turn my chair. Y'all yeah. about to mess me up over here. <laughs> See, y'all. <laughs> with that talking Look, about y'all turning me all the way around Look, Look. Look. Gonna touch legs, baby. oh come on here let's do something <laughs> my god man. jesus have mercy oh, lord my god and oh and i don't a, even know what the clock is listen, you know what time it is oh. listen that's a whole nother <laughs> segment of show of you what you just said oh, about yes, i know it <sighs> okay wow so let's talk about all of this you have going on if you have tv shows going on okay um you have to have some help Okay, well, let me just, let me say this. Um, my cry used to be for many, many years, God, where is the in-house? Yes. Okay, and so what God did, he's, um, my, my daughter, who is um, my right-hand person, and my son, but then God also, um, uh, a, a woman of God, um, Pastor Shannon for Amos, God, and her husband, Elder, um, God have added them to help. And they do whatever they can help. They, they help with whatever um, they can. And just different people. But as far as like a, a uh, in-house team, I must say it's done in the spirit. But Amen. I know what God told me already what he's going to do. So let me just put this out here. I'm not going to say what the years, but at the end of this year, we will be taking applications. Well, you know what? That's what I was about to say. Know, yeah. Sounds like you're going to be hiring yes, soon. Yes, yes. And so what you do Amen. is you move by what God is doing, not by what you see. Correct. Exactly. So Exactly. And I know you're a woman of faith. Yes. And, you know, it can be easy. Right. When you just, when you know that God is not going to let you down. Right. It, you know, and some people don't, feel that way they think that they can't do it that they they can't have faith that way but really and truly is easy and, and let me let me just say this so mm, let me let me rewind okay all right so faith is not pretty mm -hmm. no faith is necessary mm -hmm. yes you have to have it if you want to see the manifestation of what God is saying mm -hmm. but while you in some time of your predicament he'll give you peace until to it comes but that oh, don't mean yes. that it's, it's oh, pretty no. no right and it does and no. even with faith even sometime God will uh, you can have he can do something but then he'll have another thing come your way that will cause your faith to elevate and the only way that you're going to get there you got to trust him so each one of these levels of faith even though I know that I operate in the gift of faith it was just it wasn't easy. Sometimes, you know, God, he'll have to get me. It's at meaning, you better go look what I just done. Right. Yeah. He may like, do it the day of, that minute, that second. Wow. It mean you can't, like, it doesn't matter. Now, God have, now that, now that I really understand faith, mm -hmm. God had to teach me. He says, you will not miss it. If right. I have to bring somebody all the way from Florida. Ooh. What you say to now? To speak something. Oh, I know about he that. He says, I don't care where <laughs> you are. If I have to bring them from Zimbabwe. He says, you can be at the gas station. I will cause them to come across you and hit bump to you so they can say something that I need for them to say. So now I understand God says, you're not going to miss it. You can be in the back or you can be the, the person all the way in the back. He said, I will cause the person speaking to say, that person in the back, that got on the yes, green, that name will. again, Janet H. Lamar. She stay in Macon, Georgia. She got a center called Mega Networks. He said, yes. he'll put it in their spirit. Amen. He most definitely do that. Well, you know what? This is just real good. It's, it's real good. And yes, I don't want to have to take a break. You better say but that. But we are going to have to my, take my, a break. My. And don't you guys touch that dial because we are going to talk about the motto of, of Queen Esther Mega Network. Amen. And Amen. we are going to hear what the word of the Lord is for this woman of God. Amen. And so I'm excited. I hope you all are excited and are being encouraged. Yes, yes, and Lord. so we will be back soon. Amen. If you enjoy the programming seen here today, consider becoming a sponsor. By supporting Queen Esther Mega Networks, you're helping to spread the promise of redemption and salvation in Middle Georgia and beyond. Your support is vital and appreciated, so please contact us today. Well, hello and welcome back to Destiny Helpers. I am your host and director, Minister Angela Ivory, and we have been having a delightful time with Dr. <laughs> Janet Lamar. And so we are going to take a little uh, switch. We're going to switch gears for a moment because not only do we highlight Destiny Helpers and, and let those who are in their serving in their community as well as beyond their community that are helping others, um, we also would like to, on this show, release the word of the Lord. So I am going to turn this segment over to my guest, Prophetess Sheila Hale. And Prophetess, 
I want you to share your heart as well as the word of the Lord or the words of the Lord for Dr. Lamar. Amen. Amen. We give God great glory. We give him great praise. We thank you for woman of God for what are you doing for the community. We thank you for what you're about to do for this whole region. And all I can say to you, get ready. Mm. Get ready, get ready, because what you vision right here is not even the aspects. You may be right here, and it's just like you just got right here, but you're going to get even bigger than this, Amen. if not owning this own plaza. Jesus. So that's how big your dream is, yes. opening up your own homeless center for those people, for the children, schooling, all for cross seas, for everybody to learn and how to write and do things of whatever surgery but i want to encourage you to keep moving forward and to continue to go back and write books yes. because those are inspirations to people as well as to you it was a healing also for you yes. as well as for other people and for your children right. and because you said that it was so many things that you said that was so powerful and so wonderful that what god is doing for you only thing i'm as honored to be in your presence wow. because he told me not to do it Wow. But I want to ask him, is it okay to take my ring off? Oh, and I want you to put it on your God hand. from Zion. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. On your ring finger. Oh, which one is that? That <laughs> one, that too. My God that from Zion. Oh, my God. Praise God. Jesus. Speak, Lord. Because you have a lot of stuff on. And as it's going, you finna get your own. My Everything God. that you pray for yes. in a spouse My God. to push you, Woo. to elevate you, to launch you out like never before. And he's coming quickly than you ever expected because you're in a preserved place. Oh, God. Yes, God. And because you're a preserved place, God is going to use that very thing. And I'm talking about your ring. It's going to be so purity and it's going to be unique for you because mm. he's going to know you. From the inside out. You're going to know him from the inside out. Learning each other. Dating every day. Y'all marriage ain't going to be like everybody's marriage. It's wow. going to be different. So God is doing this for you. Doing this for you. Because it's never too late. And you ain't too old. Amen. And God is going to do that. He's going to help push you even more into the things of God. Into the nature of God. Even for your children. Scholarships going to come out the real work for them. Money going to come out for the real work. This is just a platform for your generation, generation, Amen. children, generation, generation. And God is going to do that. Amen. God is going to do that consistently. And so the only thing I can tell you, woman of God, is keep going clearly going forward. Amen. Scholarships. You want to do scholarships for kids. Yes, yes, yes. yes. My yes. God. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. yes, Lord. Kids that's in need. Right. Yes, Lord. Because they parents, single parents, right. mothers yes. or fathers, because mm -hmm. you done been there. And because you had to go down that road and that journey, that was your ministry. Yes. God had to take you through it so you could understand it and for your ministry to be more effective. How can you do, say something or preach something you have not lived it Amen. yourself to be able to preach those words? People have to see you. Your enemy had to see you at your downfall I'm so you can rise Lord up Jesus. before them. Mm. So now this is your table mm. in the presence of your enemies. For every mouth that rised up against you, mm. for every naysayer that said you weren't going to do it, it wasn't going to happen it never was going to happen this is all being because you are already global <laughs> i'm talking about you are already across seas jesus have mercy lord your body just got to catch up with have your mercy, spirit jesus yes lord so this is your timing this is your season yes, lord. you're in the right place and you're in the right time and you're not moving too fast have you mercy. understand it more than i do <laughs> you're in the right time and in the right season of god so you continue to walk Amen. You continue to preach and open what thus says the Lord, because you're going to go higher in God. Amen. Another oil just fell out upon Jesus, you. Jesus, have mercy, as God. As you walked out. You got on red for a reason. Jesus, have mercy, Lord. The red is a magnificent color for the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To be washed and covered in his blood. Yes, Lord. And now he said, God, wash me and make me all over. That's it. Make me new. Make my, me new. My, my. Make me new. Make me whole. Lord, heal me from the inside yes, out. Yes, Lord. Because I don't want to walk around 
mm -hmm. in a place of hurt because I don't want to hurt nobody. Amen. Lord, even bless those that hurt me. Yes, Lord. Bless them continuously. Yes, Lord. Bless them continuously, yes, God. Yes. And because of your humbleness and your obedience, God is going to take you one, your own wildest my nation. And that financial that you just alone, that you're applying for, mm. it's going to be bigger than that. Have mercy, God. It's going to be way bigger than that. Thank so you, this Lord. is just the beginning. Amen. Because you're setting a platform for a lot of people to be seeing. It ain't even about you. That's right. It ain't even about you. But God going to make this season about you. My Lord. He's bringing the first to the back. Because they got to get in the back of the Jesus. line. Jesus. And he's bringing you to the front of the My line. My God. Because this is your timing and this is your season, woman of God. I'm talking about you finna get showered like never before. You ain't seen nothing mm. yet. Mm. Mm. You ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing yet. My Lord. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. You finna have a show for kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that they can come in and yes. get them something to do so they won't That's be in right. trouble. Amen. So yes. they won't be out on you. Want, out, Lord, you said, I don't want them to talk about yes. kids and being all in us. So you're bringing a healing right in making. That's yes. why you had to come here. Right. And so it's a lot of witches and warlocks yes, mad. Yes. They pissed off, but it's okay. <laughs> yes, and it's Lord. fine because you got help that's coming on the way Amen. that's going to help you. A prayer team that's going to be all over from Amen. the east. So I'm talking about all over. They're going to help pray and cover you and keep you covered in the blood of Jesus. Jesus so they can Lord. might as well, all the little roots they trying to throw at the door it ain't gonna Come work it ain't gonna even work because this door ain't gonna close Come on here. you ain't gonna lose it this Come time on here. Oh you ain't gonna lose it this Jesus time have mercy, Lord. your oil is too rich and genuine mm. and because of that God has been a flow like never before. I see rivers coming up out of you. My God. Oh my gosh. Jesus, I'm talking mercy. about rivers are flowing up out of Jesus, you. Jesus, have mercy, Lord. In this time and this season. So I just thank God for what he's about to do, what he's already doing, and what he's already done. Because you just don't understand your story. You can tell it all now. But if you could. My God. Oh my God. Jesus, have mercy, Lord. They wouldn't even understand how you got right here. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank so, you, God. So, God is blessing you continuously, woman yes, of God. Lord. Yes, Lord. And as he's blessing you, you're pouring it right back out into other people. Right. You're sowing it into other people. You're not even trying to keep it for yourself. Have mercy, Lord. That's why he's going to bless you. Thank you, God. And take you higher into Amen. the things of God. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I just say, God, thank, thank you. you. We give God great praise. Amen. We give him honor. To Thank God be the praise. glory. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. My, 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 the show is a youth show with swag for um, the young adults. Wow. Um, and uh, a project I'm working on is River Flowing in Dry Places. Mm. Um, the red is what we just done, something we had, and it was because of the blood. So all I know is if I can run now, the camera can catch me, I would take off and run. Mm. Uh, Mighty God. Uh, Jesus, have mercy, God. I don't, I don't, I'm just, I don't got words. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Say yes, God. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Yes, God. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. She just broke out her box. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I sure did because this has never happened. Yes. Uh, uh, I haven't sat in a seat. Nobody's interviewed me on my own show. Um, but I don't like the norm. Mm. Uh, and I said it was going to be a Mary and Elizabeth experience. And that's what it is. Mm. My God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, God. Well, let me just tell you what you Thank just you, Lord. witnessed. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Lord. This is not Minister Angela Ivory Thank idea. You, Thank you, God. She kurama ma sando ro ki araba. She kurama ma ma sando ro iraba. Kiraba shando. Son kuraba ba sando ra ki araba. Sando ro ko iraba. She kiraba sando ro ma ma. Kuraba she kiraba shando. Kuraba ba sando ra kanya raba sando. He karabashando rosike. For such a time as this, woman of God, 
you had to cross my pathway and God had to allow, amen, you to be pushed and provoked for such a time as this because all this was an appointed time. It was an appointed time for you, but it was also an appointed time for the woman of God, yes. for the platform that she's going to be going on because she also have to con con uh, con go with you as you go forth in some of these shows. Yes. She have to be a part of it for what God is getting ready to do in her life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I also see oil. That's going to be oil. That's going to be all kinds of things that are going to be given to people. The audience is going to allow God. You're going to get out of these chairs, and you're going to walk through the audience, and there's going to be healing and deliverance in the audience. You will not be confined to the chairs, but you will get up and you will flow according to what the Spirit of the Lord is. As you go forth as well, I even see you taking some garment or whatever and throwing it on people, and I see healing that's going to come. It's coming from your prayer area that you pray in that God's going to use whatever you have experienced to bring forth healing in people's lives. That's what's going to happen. It's bigger than this. Yes. Amen. To God be the glory. And, and you are exactly right. And that's why I was saying this is not Minister Angela Ivory's idea. This was downloaded from our Father, our Heavenly Father. What you are seeing and witnessing now, he has allowed this woman of God to be in my life for the last five years. And I would have never made it through. Jesus. Had she not been there. My Lord. Had she not been sacrificial and poured out. My and Lord. spoke the words of the Lord. She didn't hold nothing back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And I sit here today. Thank you, Jesus. Because of her obedience. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord wanted other people to experience what yes. I have experienced for the last couple of years. Yes. And it is a wonderful thing. Yes, Lord. It, it's like a lifesaver. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank you, God. And so you are one of my destiny helpers. She's one of my destiny Amen. helpers. Amen. And there are other prophets Amen. that have been my destiny helpers. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and Amen. and I'm just I'm excited about what God is, yes, Lord. is doing. And so I just want to take this moment because I have to now and just thank the underwriters. Amen. Because I asked. And you gave. Thank you. Amen. And you gave without hesitation. You all have been a tremendous part of what the vision that God showed me. You have made it a reality. And so I just want to thank all of the underwriters of this show, especially Upshaw Roofing. Thank you, all of you, for making this a reality. And so until we are spotlighting our next Destiny Helper. I want you all to be encouraged that there are destiny helpers out there for you too. So be blessed until next time. Amen. I was physically at school, but my mind wasn't at school. I had problems at home. That's when I met Narnis. She started helping me a little bit like, Nia, I don't know what you're doing, but your future is more important. She's my strength. It takes a village to help somebody get their diploma. It changes your whole life. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Don't wait. Communicate. Make your emergency plan today.